Since the birth of the gaming market, video games are always meant to satisfy one need, entertainment. Because of this, esports have always been an enigma to the public. Why would something simply meant for fun be put in a competitive limelight? Why would I compare a video game to a sport like basketball or soccer? Well, in essence, they are completely different. In practice, they are very much so the same. Esports players and communities have rallied around these video games the same way people rally around sports. They have devoted time and effort to play the game they love, with one dream in mind. To be the best team, to be the best player, to compete, and to win. I was always competitive growing up. I loved playing basketball and soccer, so sports like that. Um, however, I wasn't the fastest, I wasn't the tallest, I wasn't like athletic enough because I had asthma. So I was kind of always held back physically. So to satisfy my competitive drive, I found esports and like competing like in video games. Um, I started with Halo, then Smash Brothers, then eventually uh, Overwatch, Counter-Strike, and Siege, that all the games I play are eSports. And then I had a pretty bad skiing injury, which took me out for about half a year. And I really kind of wanted to channel a lot of the competitive energy from skiing, and I chose gaming and decided to join one of my friend's teams and ended up really enjoying it. Uh, well, me getting into eSports was kind of a fluke. I uh, basically really liked PC games as a kid. I ended up getting a PC myself and uh, just started playing Counter-Strike one day and really liked it, really liked the competitive feel and went on from there. Uh, I got into eSports when I was 17. Uh, I, I bought my first computer after I had been working for a couple of years. All my friends were really into Counter-Strike. Um, none, none of them really played the game seriously. They all just kind of played for fun, and I did too. They were all pretty good at the game mechanically, so I learned a lot that way. But uh, as, I, as I played more and got older, I got a lot better than all of them, and I, I decided to take it a little bit more seriously. I played so many sports growing up. When I was growing up, I was, I was all about hockey. I won a few championships. It was a big deal to me. I, I, I love competing. I, I love winning. I love winning games. I don't like losing, but you know, that's part of it. Yeah, competition is a huge deal to me. It's, it's a lot like being on a on an esports team. It's hours of preparation, practicing, learning how, how your teammates play, learning how you play and what you can do different when you play with other people. Um, again, the competition is, is hugely comparative. Um, they're, they're basically, in my eyes, the same sports and, and esports it's the same thing just one you're more active when you're sitting down but it's just as much mental and physical preparation uh, any fries boys any fries uh, what motivates me to play more than anything else is just it being a fun game in general if anybody's played sports like i have in the past i've played hockey uh, if you love the game and you love the sport that should be enough to to keep playing I guess the thrill of competition, like I love winning, uh, always beating your opponent, like that feeling, it's just nothing matches that. Nice. Tight, planning. Tight, planning in restroom. Last guy restroom for Nice. Let's go! I met a lot of my friends. Uh, I I didn't have that many friends coming into, into college until uh, I made a lot of friends through Humber Esports and CS in general. Uh, a, lot, a lot of my friends are through Counter-Strike. So Esports was actually a really good bonding point for me and my dad. Normally it was just sports or we wouldn't talk. And uh, once I started really getting into esports, he also started kind of watching it with me every so often. And now it's one of our biggest conversation points, the new trades, that match last night. So we've bonded quite a lot over it, yeah. It definitely has gotten me a lot closer. We talk a lot more now. So I met a lot of people through esports and uh, it spawned so many friendships.
outside of my college program, I didn't have really many friends. Um, and esports gave me an opportunity to find new friends. Like I found an esports club, and from there I found that we had a Counter Strike club, and then we made a team. And then my teammates are, you know, great people, and we bonded over the past few months, just practicing, playing the game we love together. So my favorite thing about esports is the competitive community. They can be incredibly fun and casual at times, but at the end of the day, they never really lose that competitive drive and aspect, and they're just so willing to help each other grow and get better together, not even as players, but as people. Last, Last guy's heaven. heaven. You, you hear him close heaven, right side. Right side. Yes! Yes! Nice. Go! Yes! I love the community. Like, I got the chance to witness an uh, esports event live. I won a photography contest and I was flown out to BlizzCon to see the Overwatch League. And seeing a stadium filled with thousands of people uh, it was crazy. Like, I didn't expect it. Like, real sports. Like, you always see stadiums filled there. And or when our Toronto Raptors won uh, the championship last year, like, seeing everybody in the streets celebrating. Uh, coming together, uh, our diver diverse community coming together to celebrate the passion we have in like basketball and winning the championship in such a monumental moment for our city. It was similar seeing that in Overwatch where um, people across the world came together to you know, watch this game, a video game, watch them compete at the highest level. Uh, my favorite thing about esports would be just how fun it is to watch and how surprisingly easy it is to get into even as a spectator. You can play from anywhere, you can watch from anywhere. It's like you don't have to like pay for like cable or something and you can just watch it online. Um, the great thing about esports is that uh, if you're playing a sport, aka like hockey, you need a place to play, you need people to play, you need equipment. If you have a PC, you can just hop on with your friends at any time and play with them from anywhere in the world. And you can just play, you know? You don't have to like have this set up. You don't have to pay for facility. Jesus, the gun? where was he? My other team, uh, they're like from around the world. Like uh, one's from Arizona, uh, one's from Texas, one's from Delaware. And then we're all connected through this game. And I talk to them nearly every day because uh, we would love to compete together. My goal in esports is to try to be as supportive of my team as possible. I want to try to be the best coach I can possibly be and give them all the tools they need to succeed and help them and watch them grow in the process. Uh, my goal in esports is obviously to go as far as possible or just be like maybe in the field in the future because it has a lot of jobs, opportunities. You can be a pro player, you can be an analyst, you can be a caster, you can be a coach, you can be a manager, there's so many things. It's basically like the sports world. It has all these open-ended things, you know, advertisements, stuff like that. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's so open-ended. That's the great thing about esports, and it's up and coming too, so. That, that one time I went to BlizzCon and I got to witness things firsthand. I got my first experience uh, in the esports industry. It's a huge industry, it makes like millions of dollars each year, and it's just growing much bigger and bigger. Capturing that experience was the best thing I've done in my whole photography career. Like I've had the most fun doing that and I want to do that so much more. Um, yeah, so as long as it involves esports and the community and just the gaming community in general, I'm definitely in. Um, I'm never going to say no.